Knights, Hunches Back, a runner's our cover story, an exclusive report on a man who I described as a sexual monster of the worst kind. A man who had, according to my sources, scaled the wall of the zoo on a nightly basis to have illicit sexual liaison with a non-consenting juvenile panda. I called him the panda panderer, a pandaphile. Here's what I said. The name of this monster is Morris Jeremiah Carpello of 28 Studsworthy Road, Glebe, New South Wales. The man is a monster. Father of four children aged between 7 and 15 and with a good job as a local high school teacher for the past eight years, Smith has been leading a Jekyll and Hyde existence. Well, that's a story we ran last night and quite frankly, I've got to say, we were wrong. <laughs> Unfortunately, our researchers picked the wrong Mr. MJ Carpello. I hope that any of the remarks I made, including sexual monster of the worst kind, deviant, or chemical castration did not cause any offence. I apologise to the late Mr. MJ Carpello, his widow, and condolences to his relatives. Which leads us into tonight's story. Suicide. Why would a well-respected high school teacher run a hose from his exhaust pipe into his car, get in, close the windows, and start the engine? I'm Darren Hunch. That's life. <laughs> In the universe, I don't hunch. Imagine, if you will, the following scenario. A man goes to a doctor, specialist doctor, let's say an ear, nose and throat specialist doctor, to get advice about a prominent nasal area, problem area on his, on his facial region. Ordinary patient, ordinary bearded patient, let's, for the sake of anonymity, call him Mr. Television. So he advises Mr. Television that he should have a simple nasal operation. That's right, a nose operation. Operation on the nose, the nasal area. All right so far. But do you think this doctor, this so-called man of medicine, this medical practitioner, do you think at any time he tells the poor, innocent patient about the side effects of the operation, the simple side effects, like, for example, that after the operation he's going to have to wear bandages on his nose for six weeks? Quite big prominent bandages on the old proboscis that highlight the fact that, I, that Mr. Television has had a nose job for six bloody weeks? Everyone's staring at your hooter with jokes like you had to have the nose job so you couldn't smell your own show and <laughs> why didn't you go to Bob Hawks and get it done for free? Very funny. Six long weeks. What happened to medical responsibility? What, what ever happened to the hypocritical oath? Shame. Nasal practitioner's shame. <laughs> I don't hunch. That's noses.